Here we have a bunch of cubes arranged in the grid mode uh, in the cloner. So we want to animate them going back, backwards and forwards in the, that is in the Z direction in a random way, but also in a loopable way. So for that, we select the cloner, go to effectors, choose the shader effector. We don't want to animate the scale, but the position. So we uncheck the scale, check the position and add 200 in the Z position. Now we have to go to shading and add noise. Go to shader, add noise. Now if we go into the noise and uh, and change the speed of the animation to 2 and play the animation, you'll see the uh, cubes are animated but they're not loopable. Why? Because we need to uh, put a value in the loop period and we get that value from our um, render settings. So if we know that the frame rate is 30 frames per second, that is every 30 frames one second is passing and our animation is, uh, let me change this to 90, our animation is 90 frames, that means 3 seconds have passed in 90 uh, frames. So we change the loop period to 3. Enter. Now if we play the animation, you'll see that the uh, anime, the randomness is loopable. How do you know that? If you go to the first frame and then you go to the last frame, they are the same. That means the animation is looped. But to get a perfect loop and not get a lag because the two uh, uh, first and last keyframes are, are the same, you just uh, decrease the frame rate to uh, frame um, the total frame number of frames to 89 which means now you get a perfect loop if you play the animation you'll see there is no uh, seam in the animation